Admiral's Log, March 12th, 1921. It worked. The British took the bait. After a few incidents with fishing boats and violations of their territorial waters, they had declared war on us. The battleship Wettin had the honor of being the first to show what Germany can do. Her 15.9 inch guns made short work of the enemy cruisers. What I had not expected was that the French would quickly join the war on the British side. This is good for us, as the French are also tied up fighting the Austro-Hungarian fleet in the Mediterranean. With their attentions divided over two theaters of war, we can strike in the North Sea and the Channel. I have gathered a massive fleet in the English Channel. The Channel is vital to both French and British interests. Intelligence shows that the British are very upset about this German show of force in what they consider to be their Channel. They've sent a fleet to deal with ours. This is the opportunity I was waiting for. I know my ships will outperform the British ships. If we hit the British with everything we have, we should be able to quickly sue for peace. We can demand reparations and take over vital territory. The battle is about to begin, and my presence is required in the flag plot. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is episode 4, Big Guns. And we're going to need the big guns because we have them all against the British. We have a massive fleet in the English Channel. And this is the battleship Hagen. This is the double 15-incher, uh, so six double barrels. Kaiser Barbarossa, same build. The Kaiser Wilhelm II, same build. Then we got the Kaiser Friedrich III and Wittelsbach. These are both the uh, single 15-inch barrels. Then we got the battle cruisers. These are again two times three and two times two 15.9 inches. And now we get to the interesting stuff because we are going to deploy the Turinja class of heavy cruiser. In case you missed the design episode, the episode one, highly recommend you check it out. The Turinja class have their armament amidships and they are very, very tanky. We get two of these. We also get the uh, Saxony class heavy cruiser with two single 11 inch guns and Two triples, because they have side mount turrets, that's the two singles. Then we have a couple of light cruisers, a couple of destroyers, and the enemy has only two battleships. Agamemnon and Agincourt, both British warships. These guys are armed with 15.3 inch guns, four of them in dual setups. So they get eight guns per ship times two. No battle cruisers, but a shitload of heavy cruisers. This is the Blake class, the, and sorry, this is the Blake from the Antrim class, I should say. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. They are armed with eight and a half inch guns. They also have underwater torpedo tubes. Then I'm seeing light cruisers of the Indus class. We've already encountered these before. They weren't that impressive. And we got a bunch of destroyers. Three 4.3 inch guns, two dual torpedo tubes per ship. And they are very quick at 38 knots, also making them quite expensive. So we got plenty of targets, and this is going to be a massive battle. Let's begin. This is the final lineup. I have essentially seven capital ships versus their two. Their total of number, total number of ships is smaller than mine. They get 19 ships. I have seven, 13, 18, 26. Let's begin. Uh, this is going to be a management hell. This is not going to be fun. Let's see. Put all the battleships in one division. Make that a little easier. So, merge. There we go. Please tell me the Kaiser Friedrich is still in charge. Yes. And then we got... What? Wait, what? Why are you splitting? The hell? No. No, 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 no. You're going to join this. Sit there. You're a battleship. Sit there. Okay. So we got the Kaiser, the Kaiser Will, uh, sorry, the Barbarossa, then, oh, they're going to reform the whole formation. Give me a minute. There we go. Formation reformed, and now they're all perfectly aligned. We got the two battle cruisers, which have substantially more firepower than these battleships. They're also quite a bit faster. They can do 31 knots versus the 21 knots that my battleships can do. I might have these guys operate solo. Operate, well, not solo, just the two of them. Um, the heavy cruiser group. I am 
in command of six of these ships. I'm going to put all the lights in one group. I'm going to put the DDs in a four and a four. The enemies to the south. Let's see. My torpedoes are pretty poorly ranged. 9.1 uh, kilometer range. But my guns are good. Guns can do 15.3. I want the DDs to only fire high explosive. I want the DDs also to actually be a formation instead of be all over the place. Heavy cruisers. Everybody avoid collisions because you're just going to fuck up. Okay. To the south. I don't know how far. But considering I can do 30 times, it's probably pretty far. Giving me time to go broadside with all of these guns. Quick tour. This is the Kaiser Friedrich class, I believe. This is the do a single 15.9 inches. No secondaries. Then we got the Kaiser Wilhelm II. A, B, C format, as the Germans would put it. Backed up by 8.9 inch secondary casemates. We got the uh, Kaiser Barbarossa. Again, A, B, C format. And then we got Hagen A, B, C. As well as Wittelsbach A, B, C, D. Battle cruisers are pretty straightforward, and these are the interesting heavy cruisers. These guys have their 11.9 inch guns, which is crazy firepower for a heavy cruiser amidships. 5.9 inch casemates surrounding those, and 5.9 inch on the bow and stern. These are essentially ships that you need to use while broadside. That's the best way to have these things operate. Now, they are mixed, I suspect. Yeah, we got the Hansa here, which is a different class. It's a bit more normal, but not by much, because it has those 11.9s uh, in wing turrets. It also comes with casemates, so these guys are not going to be quick, but they will be very deadly against smaller ships. The light cruisers, we have the guys with the 7.9s on bow and stern, and then 3.9s all over the place. I believe they are pretty similar, yes, except for the Bremse. Bremse is more of an interceptor, doing 30 knots. 7.9 inch guns as well, 3.9 inches all over the place. And uh, we get the Medusa over there as well. There's the first collision. Oh, what a clusterfuck this is going to be. Yeah, and maybe not a tight formation there. <laughs> oh man. I'm going to let these guys sort them out. There we go. First contact with the enemy has been made by the destroyer group. The V-13 destroyer group. As a quick overview, what I have set up. I have the destroyers on each side of the formation. This is a group of four. There's another group of four on the other side. And we got the battle cruisers moving slightly farther ahead than I actually want them to be. The battleships are still trying to sort themselves out. And I had to slow down the Friedrich to try and get the rest of them to catch up. They're attempting to do so, but not really successfully. And we got the heavy cruisers sort of uh, in reserve here, flanking the battleships. And then a light group of five cruisers. The battleship here really appeared very, very shortly uh, close to the V-13. I don't really appreciate that. We're going to have to try and torpedo this guy. And in the meanwhile, of course, they're going to get shot at by absolutely everything that I have. Which, in this case, is a lot. It's a lot. Now, if the battleships are here, I suspect their escorts will be too. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Uh, I want the battle cruisers to start turning to starboard. Essentially cutting off the whole fleet. Want the heavy cruisers to start mingling here. Yep, there's the rest of them. There will be mistakes and mishaps in this playthrough, this battle here, because there is so much going on that it's really difficult to manage all of it. Uh, yes to torpedo avoidance, please. It's going to be absolute mayhem. Where's your torpedo launcher? Launched against the battleship. Perfect. Battleships. Select the main target, which is the battleship. They're going to target the next battleship. Heavy cruisers. Target this. This is a light cruiser coming for me. The light cruisers, they also have range. I want them to deal with the light cruiser as well. And we got the other destroyer division. I'm going to try and encircle the enemy fleet. is some massive fleet action and my destroyers here are having a pretty bad time which is to be expected 
considering the amount of fire that they're taking, they will definitely die. They might, however, be able to get their torpedoes away on various targets. That is, the torpedoes or the DDs which are capable of doing that, and there's not too many of those going around. Dido here. Agamemnon over there. Battleships and heavy cruisers. Or sorry, battle cruisers switch to this. Look at that. 900 damage. V13 sinks. Tough. So be it. In the meanwhile, the battle cruisers are getting a bit too close for comfort. Secondaries on the Dido, please. The Dido is already torpedoing a destroyer, I suspect. Agincourt is picking the best option that it has, which is to just run. Torpedo launch from V12 against Agincourt. So, the one in the back. These torpedoes are already doing their own thing. Oh, good hits, good hits. Good hits, good hits. That was the Agamemnon taking a couple of hits from uh, one of my battle cruisers. And she's starting to flood. Standard bulkheads, cramped quarters. She's also going to start to lose crew pretty quick. There's Dido. Agincourt has lost some crew, but not much. With the heavy cruisers over there. Uh, you guys are going to turn to port. The heavy cruisers are going to come alongside you. The other heavy cruisers here are going to go left. Dido is taking quite a bit of fire. My plan here is to eliminate the capital ships first. So, the battleships. That means that they're going to be reduced to, what, 8-inch guns? Yeah, eight and a halfs. Which shouldn't be that much of an issue. And I suspect that I can get several thousands, if not... More potentially multiple tens of thousands of victory points. Essentially initially, or essentially knocking out the British from this war very quickly. As they take enormous losses, which will cause a lot of unrest and probably a hit to their naval prestige as well. Battleship status, 5.92823. Yeah, you guys are too far away. I don't like this division. Just get a move on, full ahead flank. Especially you guys that can do 26 knots. Go. As long as you are somewhat close to the capital ship, which you are, I mean the flagship, you should be fine. Alright, you're going to turn to port. I need to make sure that this cruiser dies. Because it is coming somewhat close to my battle cruisers. We still have line of sight on Agamemnon. Where's the other guy? I think my destroyers are not actively spotting the targets anymore. Go. Let's see if we can take a nice snapshot of the Mars. It's a bit of an odd design in the sense that it has uh, double barrels and triple barrels. I know that does throw off my accuracy. So be it. I do like the design. For me, that's enough reason to have the ship out here. Good hope. Armed with torpedoes out to 6-4, so they don't have the range at the moment. We're still going to focus on the battleship. 11 clicks out. Blow the... No. Scratch that. We're going to start eliminating heavy cruisers. Just start eliminating heavy cruisers. We're going to slow down a touch. Because we're way faster than they are also way faster than we need to be, and accuracy should be better against these guys. Yeah, good work. Normally, I would pick my ammo manually, because that is generally, at least in my mind, the best way to make sure that your shots are effective. A battle this large? Not doing that. It's just too much going on. Now, it looks like the enemy did a lot of damage. Uh, it is mostly... Well... I'm not going to say it's wrong. It's just a skewed picture because the enemy, yes, has done a lot of damage, but only to destroyers. The rest of the ships are fine. Not much I need to go down before she starts torpedoing the Prince Heinrich. Start dodging torpedoes if you so desire. We've seen what this battleship can do against a light cruiser, which is generally not much. But 
lacking the battleships as targets. I'll just have to go for this. That was a great hit. That was an 11-inch gun. Dealing catastrophic damage to the Andromachi over there. Ah, yes. This is the Prince Heinrich. Uh-oh. This is the one with the small citadel and the massive guns. I do, however, suspect that dodging those torpedoes is going to be a bit of a tall order. Immediately, the Dido is being selected as a target. Come on, dodge, dude. Oops, something else took a torpedo. The battleship. As I said, this is sort of unavoidable in a battle this large, unless I want to be pausing it every, well, 15 seconds, which I do not want to do. Okay, eliminate the Dido, please. We've got the Royal Arthur taking all sorts of attention from the light cruisers. The light cruisers, fortunately, are not the target, because the battle cruisers are the target. All right, you guys are going to turn to port. You're going to smoke up. Bring more guns to bear. What is that? That's a light cruiser. Pick that, because you have much better chance of dealing damage against that. The Heinrich has taken some damage, is perfectly capable of surviving that, so is the Friedrich. She has three engines out, though. I think the safer bet would be to just disengage. Please avoid torpedoes. Don't be silly. Battle cruisers at? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What are you doing out here, Tyrion? What the hell? The destroyers already took care of this guy, mostly. Let's pitch in the secondaries from the König Wilhelm and uh, Mars. Start pumping some additional 8.9 inch guns or shells into that target, which should swiftly eliminate it. Many bulkheads, though, it might survive. Torpedo were. Dodged by the V10, the V12, and the V7. Excellent. What's the sea state? Oh, it's stormy. And strong gale, and very rough waves. So you got a lot of debuffs happening here. Retreat. Where are the rest of the battleships? Here. That way, gentlemen. This way. Aha! Agincourt. I was looking for you. I might not be able to spot you, but you have plenty of spotters to tell you where I am. There goes the Tyrion. That's the destroyer on the flank. Oh, boy. I have some decent anti torpedo protection here, so this should be perfectly fine. Dodge, please. Just gonna let the game run for a bit. Light cruisers are doing exactly what I want them to do, which is take attention from the other light cruiser. Uh, the heavy cruisers are in the meanwhile punishing the Dido for existing. You guys are pulling back a bit too far from the main line. DDs are continuing to spot the enemy fleet. The battleships to start pummeling the Agincourt, which appears to be coming back in. For some reason or another. Look at that, battle cruise is perfectly fine. It took a hit from a torpedo. Didn't really care. What you got there? Oh boy. DD. Turn. Fast is good. Thank you. Smoke it up. There's the heavily damaged port. No, not Port Arthur. Royal Arthur. The DDs are still doing a nice flanking maneuver here. If you got torpedoes left, try and hit the Agincourt and smoke yourselves up. Yeah, this thing is going to need some repairs. Still fighting, though. Still getting some effect out of that. Probably not too much effect out of the Wittelsbach. It's only two barrels that I'm essentially using. These guys are running at flank speed. Or are trying to get to flank speed. But being 1920 is going to take me a while. There's more destroyers to be had. Guys, don't get too close now. If you want to torpedo something, look for a battleship. Or just a large cluster of ships. That's 
flying too. These guys are remarkably sturdy. I'm going to pull the Prince Heinrich off of this division. She's taken some damage and there's no real point in still having her on the front line. The cruisers here seem fine. Excellent. Destroyers are taking a massive beating. Which, well, it's a bit rough, but it's fine. If the destroyers take a beating, it means that something else is not. Something more valuable. And these destroyers are what, 12 million a pop? Nine. It's not even 12. Oh. Start dodging torpedoes. Go on. Anza. Wake up. There's a torpedo coming for you. Wake up. Okay, they're dodging. Alright. Agincourt and Agamemnon damaged. Still fighting. They need to be dealt with. Perfect dodge. Well done, Hansa. Thank you. Well done. Heavy cruisers go back in. It's a lot less... Oh, ow. Um, it's a lot less guns management and a lot more fleet management this time. Detach the steer. Steer is going to retreat. We got one surviving heavy cruiser. You can join the other division. Yep, that's that one. There we go. Reform the division. Agincourt taking quite some damage. Having lost their secondary tower. 4% of crew is dead. We're still trying to deal damage against the battle cruiser. Oh, sorry, against the battleship. Battle cruisers are in a flanking position, which is where I want them to be. And should be able to deal a fairly decent amount of damage against Agincourt from their current position. What is the Mars? Oh god, the Mars is still on torpedo dodge duty. Oh um, boy, I forgot how bad the AI is at coming back from dodging a torpedo. They take, they take good efforts, do good measures to dodge a torpedo, and then they go completely off the rails and just continue dodging torpedoes that aren't even there. Ashen core starting to flood. Taking damage from heavy cruisers. This is working as intended. Heavy cruisers are dealing a lot of damage against a battleship. Dido took some torpedoes from a destroyer. Perfect. It's not strictly the target because I was going for the battleship. But hey, any damage is good damage. DDs here are slightly falling back. That's not good because that means you can't shoot. Why is the V14 all the way out there? No, 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 no. Just detach yourself. Retreat. You're too far away from the rest of the div. I don't want to have to micromanage you. Mars. God's sake, man. Get over here. Pull ahead flank. You're way too far from the rest of the group. Agincourt still flooding. Damaged rudder. Got good hope, diadem and powerful over there. And there are still probably a lot of strays. A lot of destroyers and shit that we haven't even seen. They had a lot of those ships. There we go. Edgar and Blake coming out of nowhere. Still trying to kill a destroyer? Okay, heavy cruisers. Um, yeah, start punching holes in this battleship, please. This is the guy with the wing turrets. So this does mean that I'm able to bring seven barrels to bear against the enemy. And deal damage with them as well. This is such a great battle to take snapshots, take screenshots. Look at this guy. Those casemates look a bit close to the waterline. Don't think you'd be very comfortable there. I mean, you're submerged. Mostly. Thank you. Hmm. 
Now, I did see all the comments about, wow, did two episodes, episode one and two. No battle? No. I hope this makes up for it. I believe it does. Who is blowing holes in the König Wilhelm? Oh shit, there's a ton of heavy cruisers out here. Crescent. Yeah, and these guys were fairly heavily protected as well. Oh, look at that, another light cruiser popping up out of nowhere. That's fun. Friedrich, retreating. Could you actually speed up, Hagen? I know I built these guys well, so they should have the ability to reach more speed than just 15 knots. Agamemnon, taking a lot of damage, but not really succumbing to that damage just yet. Light Cruiser's turn. V7's gonna die. König Wilhelm is attracting a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Start targeting the heavy cruisers, please. Why are you picking up something over there? Look at that, there's something supposedly over here. Okay. That could be a problem. If these guys are indeed fairly close. Okay, now the Ashen Core is taking... Oh, sorry, Agamemnon's taking some more damage. That's good. I'm thinking I'm going to flood this guy out. Standard bulkheads. The armor has taken so much damage already that it should not really be protecting them that much anymore. So we can save this destroyer, although I rather doubt it. Got the... Yeah, look at this. These guys are still trying to deal damage against heavy cruisers with their... Um, 5.9 inch heavy guns. I don't think they can pen. Well, let them set their own ammo. Asian Core also taking some damage. Perfect. You're now starting to attract attention from the battleship. Wow. What the hell did the Falk could do to piss them off that much? Bloody hell. König Wilhelm's taking a bit more <laughs> attention than I was expecting. There's a lot shooting at you now. Turn back. Lost sight on most of these cruisers. Falke is now the main target of the whole fleet. Agamemnon, 62% structural... Sorry, 62% buoyancy. Structural is already lower than that. More and more fires are being set. Something sinks. Some hostile target just sunk to structural integrity. I'm not exactly sure what I hit. Whoa! Whatever I hit died horribly because it took 13,000 damage right through the fore deck. Done by the Wittelsbach. So the Wittelsbach killed something. I just don't know what. But considering the amount of damage, I suspect it was a destroyer. Ashen Court also taking a lot of damage. Did you have an arrow explosion? No, you just had your main tower penetrated for 3,400 damage. This is why you bring the big guns. This is why. Agamemnon, funnel destroyed. Ashen Court down. So the first of their two battleships eliminated. Oh, this is not good. We got so many ships here that somebody's bound to eat a torpedo. Start dodging. Start dodging. End up uh, somewhere over there. Don't think I can have the Adelbert dodge everything. Oh, this one detonated. Dud it essentially. Uh, hmm. Fine. Take the hit. I'm going to detach you from the div. Tell the Adelbert to return to base for repairs. We should be able to finish that second battleship now pretty quick. Oh, hello Mars. Do you know that you're running right into the whole enemy fleet? Not a good idea. Really not a good idea. Oh boy, if I had torpedoes I could sink this whole group. 
fairly swiftly. They have torpedoes. So we should be fairly careful here. The Memnon's down to 20. Where's the other ship? Where's the other battlecruiser? All the way over here. Oh, you're just 11 clicks out. It's fine. You're not that far away. So you got 17% accuracy. 16. What? That's uncomfortable. Okay. Well, you're already retreating, so it's good. König Wilhelm, 1% accuracy. You need to get your ass back in here. You need to slow down. Full speed. Increase accuracy to max. Please tell me that battleship's essentially dead. Ah, oh, pretty much. Okay, battleships. We're going to start to go broadside and slow down. We have the entire enemy fleet surrounded. So it's only a matter of time until they all start dying. There's the Kaiser retreating. There's the Prince Heinrich retreating. I swear I had more than two battleships here. Here. You're going to turn starboard. Hagen, Kaiser. Hello? Hi. What the hell is your problem? Coward, get back here. Agamemnon, flooding. Lots of sections on fire. Down to 35% crew losses as well. This guy's probably going to be the next victim. Come on. Sink it. These guys are so close together. It doesn't essentially doesn't matter where you shoot, you're gonna hit something anyway. That's not good, that's a torpedo. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. The torpedo can't really Oh What the fuck are you doing, Windsor? What the hell? That's gonna hurt. A lot. Thing just phased right through the battleship. What the fuck? Category, if we don't have any torpedoes left, we are the torpedo. And it's not even torpedoing the battleship. It's torpedoing the Hagen. What? Why? Go on. Blo Come again? That was an 8.9 inch shell that got blocked. That's amusing. Hmm. Come on, finish this guy. Finish it. Falka is still in pretty good condition considering the amount of attention she's been getting. Everything's taking fire, flooding, damage to main guns, damage to funnels. There's only one way this is going to end, and that's with the destruction of the British fleet. There is no other outcome. It's the only way that this is going to end. Go make yourself useful. Did you take damage or something? No. Item. Oh. Kaiser just took a torpedo hit. Port Arthur, pretty heavily armored. This guy's taking a lot of damage from fires. It might go down to it. Oh, please. Where are the battle cruisers? Here. Oh, they're gonna collide. Okay. They're gonna collide. Come back, Mars. Just make sure you end up over there. Or actually, rejoin. Jeez, I have a lot of tabs open. Join this. Yeah, okay, so diff 13 is the battle cruisers. Good. Rejoin. Kaiser's down to 65%. Oh, 
Bloody hell. 11,000 damage taken and you're still not dead? Good lord, man. There you go. Heavy flooding. That's their battleship done. It's going to get progressively easier from here. Just need to be patient. That's essentially the whole deal. Just need to be patient. What are you? You're a light cruiser. Eliminate. Heavy cruisers have disengaged a bit too much. Prince Adelbert's the one retreating. Wittelsbach's coming in with a vengeance. Kaiser's taking some damage, but... I don't think they can do that much. Yeah. Well, that's not pleasant. Pleasant. Oh, we're fine. Switch to the Immortalité. Immortalite, whatever you want to call that. Uh, what the hell? Where'd you come from? This is what I meant. There will be ships that we just haven't seen yet. Here they are. Just a random DD popping out of a smokescreen next to a battlecruiser. It's not the kind of surprise that you want. Focus all the guns on this. We'll deal with the heavy cruisers later. Wittelsbach. Kaiser might have to turn again. Just do a full turn. Make yourself harder to predict. Uh, the Nymph. I'm going to disengage this one. The cruisers are doing some sort of weird formation dance here. I'm going to take some Torps. That's fine. It's par for the course. Windsor. Taking a lot of damage. Battle cruiser group here. This guy did torpedo one of my ships. I don't think it worked. Good. Didn't work. Okay. Koenig, however, does have her rudder damaged. Yeah, it's DD's 4.3 inch guns. Speaking of DD's. Had a group of destroyers somewhere. We Where the hell are you guys going? Get back here. Get back here. There's more people to be had. More ships to be damaged. Okay, Kaiser's taking a bit more damage than I want. Start retreating. These heavy cruisers really could take a beating. Two and a half K on the Royal Arthur. 1700 there. 800, 1k, good hope, 461. Finally, the Wittelsbach has arrived. Took a while. Light cruiser group, where do you think you're going? Heavy cruiser groups coming back in. That's the Eugen, the Saxony, and the Hansa. On 77,000. I've taken 33,000. I'm still well ahead. And one torpedo. That's one torpedo hit that I've inflicted. It's not bad. 2k damage. I'll take it. Let's see. Can we eliminate the Blake? Yeah, she's getting a lot of attention. It's probably the heavy cruiser's guns which are going to do the work. Decent mix between the amount of punching power that they have, as well as the amount of damage that they can do. Sorry, amount of reload that they have. Immortalite is taking flooding. Crescent. Yeah, do you really want to get this close to a battle cruiser? Do you want to find out what happens when you do that? Because you're not the first, and you won't be the last. Keep pushing these guys back. Situation here. This is the Blake. Blake has a flash fire. I think that's the first one we've seen. The whole ship's on fire. The ship's flooding. Blake should be finished pretty quick. I think the British fleet is now snowballing because they're starting to get fewer and fewer targets. So more and more and more of my firepower is going to be concentrated on fewer ships. Meaning... They're going to start losing ships faster and faster and faster. And with that, their damage output drops 
fast as well. Battle cruisers. And with Crescent. I think that with the exception of a destroyer or two, I haven't really lost that many ships. Ow! It's going to be a problem. Whose gift was that? Yours? Yours. Turn fire. Good hope. Well, there's no hope for you now. Let's see what the Saxony's up to. With her. Oh, sorry, not the Saxony, the Turinja. Turinja class. Do I still have one? Oh, I disengaged all of those classes. Or their ships from those classes. They took too much damage, probably. Crescent here. Oh, you're still here, are you? The light cruisers are all doing their weird torpedo dodging dance when there's no torpedoes around. Fine. Fine. We'll just have to rejoin later. There's the Napier. Tentagle. Are you divved up or something? Ow. I hit what? The Eugen? Yeah, I hit the Eugen. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Are you part of something? You are. Right. Well, that's... that. Yeah. No, that's a very loose formation. 25 kilometers apart. Run. Just run. You do not want to find yourself within striking distance of a heavy cruiser. Bad for business. Turn. The Eugen took a torp. Doesn't really care. Barbarossa. Deal with this heavy cruiser, please. Battle cruiser status. Battle cruisers have done quite a lot of work for me. 4.6k for one, 4.5k for the other. Good performance. Then again, if you got four 15-inch turrets of both doubles and triples, yes, you're going to do a lot of work. There's the Edgar, badly damaged, powerful, badly damaged. I think we're finally cleaning them up. Finally. Took a lot of work. Took a lot of damage. Oh. Royal Arthur is down. V12. Auto dodging. Kaiser is retreating. As planned. Where's the heavy cruiser section? Whatever's left of it. Here. Yep. Heavy cruisers, 7.2 thousand, 5.6, 5.1. They did more damage than the heavy cruisers, sorry, than the battle cruisers. Of course, they're going to be fighting different targets. Still, this is a lot of firepower. A lot of damage coming out of these guns. Battle cruisers now coming in for the kill. Where's that going? P12 is dodging. Edgar. What do you think you're up to? What's my overall accuracy? 12%. And theirs is half. Oh, hello. Hello. Where do you think you're going? Stop right there, you criminal scum. Fine. This cruiser took some damage. Didn't do that much. I have to do an after action review to see how many... Well, which let's say which classes performed best, because I'm rather interested in that. Oh, this is that suicidal destroyer, isn't it? The one that keeps ramming people? Probably that guy. Kill it. Good lord, could you finally sink? Perhaps. Edgar. Oh, hi, boys. <laughs> That's the destroyer division that went all the way away and is now coming back right into the middle of the battle. 1400 damage. 3.2 thousand. 1900. 
Very, very nice. Well done. It's a lot of damage coming out of a destroyer. Dodge. Powerful. You're right. Have you done a lot of damage? No, you haven't. Not nearly as much as my heavy cruisers. Their guns are smaller, what can you expect? What can you expect? This guy is going to sink. Edgar's down. Battle cruisers. Bloody hell. Throw high explosive in his face, please. P12. Shoot this. No, you guys were disengaging, officially. Where's the V10? Why are you out here? Crescent on fire. I think they're more likely to succumb to structural integrity than flooding. We've got those two destroyers out there. Where's my light cruiser hunter group? Where's the heavies? Where's the last? The tank clicks out. Ah, it's the Napier and the Tentacle. Yep, it's those two. I'm going to task the battle cruisers with also intercepting them. Because I suspect they're going to be done with the Crescent rather soon now that they're launching high explosive at it. And can we kill this, please? Powerful's down. Excellent. Push in. Finish off the Edgar. They got the Edgar there and the Crescent there, and then it's probably just a few destroyers. I think that's the last stuff that they have left. So there really is not a whole lot that we still need to kill. Yeah. That ship is just going to be crispy. This guy is probably going to flood. We got the DDs. Hello. Battle cruiser secondaries on the DDs. Move to intercept. You're probably the fastest ships that I have for this job. Increase the flank. Uh, DD group. New tasking. Intercept the enemy destroyers. There goes the Crescent. That was the target from the battle cruisers right over there. And there goes the Edgar. All right. A couple destroyers. We have our British knockout punch complete. Don't fuck with the German Navy. Because you're not going to come out on top. Where's your friend? Right over there. No torpedoes left. On either destroyer. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. That's really unfortunate. Because what are you going to do? Ram me? Wouldn't be the first time. Come on. I know it's a small target. I know weather conditions are terrible. There you go. 1600 damage. The toggle should be down due to flooding. I'm going to switch to the Napier. And the battle. I don't think so. No survivors. This is just as much a full fleet destruction as it is a psychological victory over the British. Boom! 1900 damage. If we can inform the British this way that attacking a German task force is a really bad idea, we can knock them out of the war. Is that it? It's not it. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm in no mood to start hunting down single destroyers. 13,553 victory points. I have lost one ship. They have lost 18. There's one light cruiser that survived. They can tell the rest of the British people what happened here. Ship stats. This was all the deceased. Let's see, damage dealt. Best. Sorry, that's worst. Best. 
The Kaiser Barbarossa, 12,000. Then it's the Eugen, the Hansa, the Saxony. And then we're looking at... Oh, sorry, this is not... Not really how this works. Um, 11k from this ship. 500 from the Nymph. That's pretty low. The battle cruisers did very, very well. That's 12,000 damage. When it comes to my light cruisers, 722, 135, 705. The light cruisers are not really performing that well. I'm going to need a new light cruiser hull. Hold on, am I looking at the right ships even? Nation. What? Oh, sorry. Damage dealt. Here we go. 6.3k for the Hansa. Saxony, 6.7. Yeah. Light Cruiser, 968. Light Cruiser, 500. Light Cruiser, 700. Light Cruiser, 135. 722. Their guns are too small to be useful. The V7 didn't do much. The V14 didn't do shit. And one died. Still, excellent outcome. Excellent outcome. This should inform the British that it is a very bad idea to go after me. I did lose one transport in the North Sea. They lost five in the Eastern Mediterranean. Over there. That's because their enemy, which is in this case uh, the Austro-Hungarians, have power projection and the British do not. The British do have a lot of power projection here. Not nearly as much as the Italians, but so far the Italians are not actually fighting anybody. The Italians are just kind of watching what's happening. Okay, power projection in the channel. 52,000 for the French, 4,700 for the Brits, none for me. Because I just pulled my entire fleet away from there as I'm repairing them all. North Sea? Whoa. <laughs> they got almost nothing there. The British ships, however, are not completely dead. They still have 65. Most of them are light cruisers and heavy cruisers. Uh, a couple of DDs. Capital ships are very few and far between. Okay. When it comes to my light cruisers, I want to see what I can do to improve these. Because they did fairly terribly. And I hope that they can do better. Refit? What kind of ammunition are you guys firing? High capacity HE shells. Switch to cap ballistic. Heavy shells. Yes, fine. Go to TNT. We're not going to rely on HE anymore. I don't believe it's going to work. Because the amount of fire setting, apparently, that they did, I don't really trust it. Let's go for... What? Okay, fine. Two powder. Loaders are fine. Yeah, the rest of the ship is essentially fine. It's just that they don't have the damage I put with the HE. They should do now. They should be capable of dealing with destroyers a lot more effectively. Save that. That's the refit for the München. And now I want to refit the Bremse. Just give them the same treatment. Capitalistic. Yes, fine, fine, fine. Engine efficiency is not great. That's with forced boilers. Hmm. Ah, this is fine. Save. Let's overhaul their ships. Hope that it doesn't take too long. Because I would really like them back in the fleet. Build ships, none. <laughs> Are they all being repaired or something? Where are my light cruisers at? Medusa, in being, repairing. München, at sea. Why can you not be re refit? Oh. Fine. Proceed. No refit available here. Okay, so, but there was your fighting episode. There was your fighting episode. We got a little over six thousand or six times the amount of damage or six times six times the amount of victory points that the British do. I'd say we're doing quite well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I hope to see you guys soon for the next one. It'll be here in a few days. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.